All right, guys, Mr. G here with a game review, a AAA game review instead of an indie game review, although the port for Red Dead Redemption 2 to PC should definitely be downgraded from AAA to triple F because it's absolutely terrible. That aside, I am going to try and review the PC game as it is and as it stands. Now, Red Dead Redemption 2 remains a beautiful and atmospheric game. Probably one of the most amazing experiences I've ever felt in booting up and starting a game and being stuck in a wild winter wasteland, trudging through the snow. The story's engrossing. You feel like you're part of a movie. It's absolutely amazing. And yeah, those elements are still there. However, you will be breaking immersion by staring at a mouse pointer on your screen because that's a bug that they managed to not fix on day one. Some people managed to sort it, some people didn't. Also, we got to get this out of the way right away. You could be running a 2080, 2080 Ti graphics card, and this game still probably won't get 60 frames per second on Ultra. And if you're like me and you're running it on a 1050 Ti, well, good luck. You can get 30 frames per second. Lucky you. That aside, the game itself is awesome. However, the controls are not exactly ideal for mouse and keyboard. Yes, you no longer have aim assist, if unless you're using a controller. Uh, and yeah, you can use the precision of a mouse, but you find yourself using a ridiculous amount of buttons to do things like select your weapons, choose an item from your backpack, or drink a health potion. Not great. Um, however... The game still does look absolutely gorgeous, even on lower settings and running at 30 frames per second. Uh, I've really enjoyed the game. I've got through the first chapter of the game, and I've barely unlocked 4% of the story. And I was Googling around on YouTube, and I was looking up all the cutscenes of the whole game put into one movie, and it comes to like 19 hours. So I realize I have a ridiculous amount more story to get to, and I'm looking forward to that. I've managed to not get spoiled on the ending of the game, and you actually find yourself caring for the characters in this game. The sad thing is, it's just so marred by an awful, awful PC port. Something fixes work for some people and not for others. It's obvious that they were used to making this for console, which is just one or two hardware configs and not for PCs. That being said, the Rockstar launcher itself is causing a ton of the problems that people are seeing right now. A mod actually found a way to get around the Rockstar launcher, which actually allowed a lot of people to even load the game at all, although you're still stuck at the loading screen due to the DRM. Yeah. It's a mess. I spent like eight hours yesterday trying to get the settings just right, and I'm one of the lucky people that can even run the game at this point. However, I'm still staring at a gigantic mouse cursor on every cutscene or any time I try and change my viewpoint or camera, or good luck trying to aim and shoot people. You have the targeting reticle of your gun on the screen and the mouse itself. I would definitely not recommend purchasing this game for PC at this time. Also, if you do buy it through the Epic Game Store, that seems to be creating its own raft of problems, so that's a bummer. Right now, I'm going to have to hold off on doing any more reviews on the actual content of this game, because anyone on PC, unless they're running dual 2080 graphics cards in their computer and got really lucky and the trifecta of the universe and planets aligned and everything runs perfect in this game, probably not enjoying the full experience of said game. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to catch you guys later. If you found this useful and you want more honest, short reviews, please like and subscribe. I'm going to catch you all later. Mr. G out.